What is up everybody and welcome back to the videos. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as always. Today in this one we have a pretty cool one. I've been saying for a while that I'm going to do a teardown video for you guys of how to tear these blocks down and in this video as well I'm probably going to show you guys how I reassemble these blocks just from bare case halves back to a full working short block and everything. So if you guys are excited for this video, stick around and we're gonna go ahead and get to tearing this apart. Okay, everybody. So here's my build bench. This is the EJ25 or 255 out of my WRX here. You guys saw the last video. I'll link it up here somewhere of me tearing it down and everything and seeing what was wrong with this block. And it was a cylinder four rod knock. So you guys can hear that. Cylinder four is bad. So what we're gonna be doing today is tearing apart this block, taking the pistons out, taking the rods out, taking the crank out, and basically getting it for ready for reassembly. Um, what I'm doing tonight is just splitting the case halves, getting it all separated and apart and everything. And then maybe tomorrow or sometime in the very near future, I will show you guys me putting it back together with the new parts and everything. I'll show you what I have for it. We'll go over everything like that. For now, let's go ahead and get into tearing this apart and I will walk you guys through kind of step by step on how to split these case halves properly and you know how to get everything apart. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. All right, so this process is pretty straightforward. We're gonna start with taking off this rear oil cover, this uh, wrist pin cover, and then there's a couple wrist pin covers, uh, one behind this and then two on the front of the block. I'll show you guys where all that is, but really quick, let's get the impact driver and get this stubborn oil cover off and this wrist pin cover off. All right, we've got a nice Phillips head. Just get it in there nice and firmly. These can be kind of a pain. I've got a nice little mini sledgehammer here. Broke that free nice. This is the one I'm worried about. Yes, success. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these. Okay, so that's what I was kind of afraid of. These Phillips head screws can be really bad sometimes. This one seems to have stripped pretty bad, so I'm going to, I guess, get my drill and try and drill that out. Not really sure what else I could do. Maybe get a chisel or something, but let's go ahead and work on getting this one out. Okay, so that was pretty quick and easy, actually. Success. Just drilled the head right off of it. Hopefully we can get that out of that hole pretty easily. Let's grab a flat head and see if we can pry that off. Might have to get a reverse drill bit and drill in there just a little bit enough to hopefully back that screw out. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. Let's see if we can get this cover off as well. <clears throat> Might need a bigger flat head. Okay, so now we've got these three wrist pin covers to take off. They're a 14 millimeter hex. So let's go ahead and take those three off. Seems like I already took off the two in the front, but maybe you guys can see it. There's one there and one there. Looks like I already took them off though. So now we can go ahead and get these wrist pin clips out and get the wrist pins out and get the pistons out. So I just put a crank pulley, crank pulley bolt in the crank, got a 22, 22 millimeter wrench so that I can rotate it. And we're just looking for enough rotation to where we can see through the hole to the wrist pin and access the wrist pin clips. 
Let me see if I can get a good view in there for you guys. Hopefully, there you go. You can see the wrist pin in there and the little clip. So let's get a pair of needle nose pliers, pull that clip out, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Same thing with this side. We will get that little clip out and I'll show you guys how to get the wrist pins and pistons out. Okay, now that the wrist pin clips are out, you wanna get a really long extension, quarter inch extension like this, or something long and thin that you can stick through the wrist pin hole on the other side and basically hammer it through and knock the wrist pin out this side. Not sure that this will be long enough, but uh, we will do our best. All right, hopefully you guys saw that or I caught enough of that in the angle of the camera, but we just pushed the, pist the wrist pin through this side with that extension and there it is. So let's go ahead and do pretty much the same thing for the other three and we'll pull the pistons out. Now that we've got all the wrist pins out, we can take something else long and skinny and kind of just push each piston out of its cylinder. So there's the old piston. It's still good, so you could always reuse this on another block. Make sure to clean it up really well and everything. Um, got new rings and everything like that so let's go ahead and get these the rest of the three pistons out and then we can split the case halves take the crank out and she'll be pretty much ready to clean up and reassemble cool now that we've got the pistons out pretty straightforward we just got to take out all of these case half bolts there's i think six or seven of these 12 mil 6.1s and then a total of 10 of these 12.12 mils. So there's, we're gonna start with these 12.12 mils. There's two here and there's two on the inside in here. So we'll start with this side and then there's six on the other side. We'll get to that. Then we'll take all these out. Then there's a 10 mil uh, right here usually that I already took out. And there's another 12 mil here on the back. So make sure you get all these before you go hammering on it, just in case. So let's go ahead and get these case half bolts out and we'll split the case. This one you'll need a regular wrench to get to. So let's get a regular wrench, pull this one out and then we'll swap to the other side. And then on to the other side, there's two on the outside here and then four on the inside, so. All right, now that all the case have bolts are pulled out, let's flip her over and we can give her a few taps with the hammer and hopefully split it open. All right, I've got it down here on some cardboard, not to mess anything up, any surfaces or anything. I've got it most of the way split, but let's give it a few more taps. And we might be able to, looks like it's separating. There we go. I heard some of the bearings let loose. And there it is, folks. Cave sides are split. We can just pull the crank out. I was gonna take these, I probably will save these rod bolts. Might save the rods, depending on how bad cylinder four looks. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and pull the crank out, pull the rods off of the crank and see how bad they look. But there's kind of a walkthrough of how to split the case halves. Not the easiest thing in the world, but 
definitely not as complicated as some people make it seem. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. It's been a while since I've split one of these, but it's the same process every time. So let's go ahead and pull the crank out and um, see how bad these rods are. And then I guess next thing you guys will see is going to be me getting everything ready for reassembly. Just really quick before I get to putting everything back together or the next process, let's get cylinder four rod off, see if it's salvageable and if it's even worth taking the other rods off. So, hopefully you guys can hear that, but that's cylinder four rod, and that's catching on my fingernail pretty bad. So, I don't think this rod is salvageable, maybe the other three might be, but they're just basic STI rods, so um, I think I will save, I'll save these ARP 2000 rod bolts, just for, you know, doing another STI rod build in the future. But as far as the rods and crank go, they are not really salvageable. So I'm not even gonna bother. Okay guys, so I initially wanted to make this one video, but I'll have to cut it into two parts cause it's already getting really long. So I'm gonna end that here. If you guys learned something, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. Um, Consider subscribing, it would really help me out. Hit that like button and the notification button, the bell icon, because I will be posting another video here soon, like I said, on putting this block back together. As you can see, it's assembled here. So I will be showing you guys what I did to put it all back together and everything. But like I said, the video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna end it here. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully I explained everything well enough. But like I said, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video, please. It really helps me out. And I'm trying to get monetized this year. So it would be awesome. And I'd really appreciate it. But for now, that's going to do it. See you guys in the next video of putting this back together. Peace.